Hey guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how to add digital stickers to your GoodNotes planner, as well as showing you how to download your free digital stickers right now. I have put together a little guide on my personal favorite way of adding digital stickers to your GoodNotes planner. So don't worry if it may seem confusing right now. I will help you through it so you can follow along easily. So let's get started. These right here are the stickers I will be giving away for free. If you want my other ones, I also have these for sale right now for $5. So if you want that, you can also head over to creativelyclaudia.com. Let's start by going over how to grab the free digital stickers. The first thing you will want to do is head over to creativelyclaudia.com. Once you're here, you're going to click on the hamburger menu, which will open up the menu. You will click on freebie library and this will redirect you to the freebie library page. Scroll down a little and you will see this form to sign up to get access to my freebie library. Fill it out and check your email inbox for an email from me. This is what your email will look like. I have the password covered up with my pencil, but you will see it once you receive the email. Click on the blue here button and that will redirect you to the page where you will input the password. Now that you have the password, simply input it into the bar and you will unlock my freebie library. This is where you will see my freebie library and where you can download the bundle. I've made the process super simple for you. Click on the yellow download button. This will open up your file. Click the share button in the upper right hand corner. Like you will see me do. Next, you will click the Save Image option. Now that you saved the stickers as an image, we will move on to the next step, which is adding the digital stickers to GoodNotes. To add your stickers to GoodNotes, you will want to open up GoodNotes and click on the planner of your choice. I will be using my 2023 digital planner, which comes with a special section to save your stickers. I love saving lots of stickers to my planners and journals, so I always like to leave a dedicated space for them. Now, to add the stickers we just downloaded, you will follow the next steps. Make sure your pencil is on so you can then click on the image button. Click the image button and you will see that the stickers we previously saved are right here under your album. Click the image so that you can bring it into GoodNotes. Now that we have the stickers in the planner, I will show you how to easily save them to access them much easier. You will want to click on the image itself and then click on crop. From here, you will have the option to either cut them up in a rectangular format or freehand. Since these stickers are pretty boxy, I will choose to crop them in a rectangular format, but for the most part, I do use the freehand option. Once you have cropped your sticker, you will click done. From here, simply click add element and you will be prompted to save it in one of your already existing collections or you can choose to save it in a new collection. I chose new collection and decided to name this collection Everyday Stickers. You can do the same if you'd like. Then you will click create in the upper right hand corner of the window and you have now created a new sticker collection where you can save your stickers. Now when you click on the elements tab, you will see the sticker we just cropped out is right in there. I will go ahead and crop the rest of my stickers so that I can save them in the collection I just created. This is a super simple way of adding stickers to your digital planners or journals and is my personal favorite way of doing so. I've seen other methods of doing this, but it honestly gets a little complicated when you have to be opening up different files or windows to access the stickers. I like being able to add my digital stickers from within the app itself and this is what I've found helps me best. I've made it super simple for you to save your stickers in this 2023 digital planner so that you can have a dedicated space to place all of them. I will keep on doing the same steps until all of my stickers are cropped and you will see that they remain right here in this collection. Now that all the stickers are cropped, you can easily use them throughout your planner, wherever you'd like by doing one of the two methods. I will start off by showing you the first method that I use. But before I do that, I do wanna show you how I like to organize them. I think this is such a cute way of adding all of my stickers into my digital planner. So the first way I do it is by using the lasso tool to draw a circle in the sticker. 
Tap the circle and hit copy. Once you've copied your sticker, you can place it wherever you'd like by tapping in your desired location and clicking paste. One of my favorite parts of getting new stickers is to play around with them and see where I think they'd look best. I really like the freedom that this provides in allowing me to add my stickers wherever and however many times I'd like. This is nothing like paper planning where you have to buy sticker packs that are seriously expensive. Now the second method is probably easier because you don't have to go back and forth between pages. You will just follow these steps. First you will click the elements tab, find the collection you saved your stickers in. You will most likely have it open already since you were just saving your stickers to it. Click on the sticker you want to use and it will pop right up. Take a moment to test out your new skills and to play around with the stickers so that you can get comfortable with it. Do you want to get my entire sticker bundle for this collection? Simply go to creativelyclaudia.com and hit the little hamburger menu on the top right hand corner. From here you will click on the little down arrow and click on digital stickers. You will be redirected to my shop where you can purchase the whole bundle to decorate your planner even further. This pack comes with a lot of winter themed stickers that match the 2023 planner perfectly. So if you have it or are planning on getting it, these stickers go perfectly with it. If you decide to purchase the bundle, you would simply follow the same process we just went through and crop each individual sticker and either save them to a new collection or to an already existing collection. I am absolutely in love with these stickers and I think they are honestly the cutest stickers ever. I know I may be biased, but seriously, these are so cute. I mean, look at this little llama. It's absolutely adorable. I can't. So now I am done placing all of my stickers from this pack into my sticker section of my 2023 digital planner. I really love how this all works out. As a new digital planner, you will come across a lot of new technology, terms, and learning curves. One of my biggest goals is to make you feel more confident in digital planning because I know that once you have confidence in yourself, your planning skills take on a whole new meaning. This is why I've created a freebie library that has many resources and guides that will help you learn more and plan better. Simply sign up to gain access to my library over at creativelyclaudia.com and start downloading the freebies right away. I have gotten a few emails recently that have mentioned how my videos have helped them get started with digital planning and how they are now enjoying it because they understand so much better. This seriously makes my heart so happy because that has always been my end goal. Even if at the end of the day you decide to go with another planner, what's most important to me is that I am able to help you plan a better life by making digital planning easy for you. If you ever need help with anything digital planning related or are confused about something or even if you have suggestions for a freebie that might benefit or be helpful to digital planners like you, don't hesitate to reach out. I am here to help. Until next time, happy planning.